Ayan. So, we have to find now what is the value of A, B, and C. So, we have to cross multiply. So, X minus 1. Okay. Okay. I-multiply lang natin. X minus 1 is equal to... Okay. Over... Okay. Uh, kapag nag-cross multiply tayo, kasi kapag ito, sige, ipapakita ko. X minus 1, tapos ito yung i-multiply natin both by x, x. O sige, pakita na natin. Multiply natin by, uh, pwede yung factors niya, pwede rin namang yung buo ito x raised to 3 minus x squared minus 2x. Ayan. So, ito kapag multiply natin yung first, x minus 1 lang. And then, ito. x minus 1 over x raised to 3 minus x squared minus 2x times 2. So, cancel out na yun. Tira. Ngayon, si a naman, um, ang, ito kasi is equivalent to, wait lang ha, ito kasi is equivalent to x, x minus 2, at saka, x plus 1. So, kapag minultiply natin yung a over x times this, or that is a over x times ito yan, di ba? Or x, x minus 2, x plus 1. So, makakancel out na yung x. Ang matitira yung x squared, x minus 2, x plus 1. So, ito, x minus 2, x plus 1. Tapos, kay b din, ganun din ang mangyayari. Kay b plus b, so, ang matitira ngayon, wala na to Ang matitira ay x at saka x plus 1. And then, si c ay mawawala na to Cancel out. Matitira ay x, x minus 2. Ayan. So, makukuha na natin ngayon by evaluation what is a, b, and c. Actually, there are, uh, ang madalas gamitin dito is yung ating uh, equate natin yung mga coefficients of powers. Okay? Pero, uh, I think, discuss ko yun sa example B. But, in this case, kasi pwede na tayong mag-assume what, uh, what will be A, the value of X para makuha natin si A, B, and C. So, you can use this as yung mabilisang technique. Pero, kung hindi siya pwede, mag-equate tayo ng powers or coefficient of equate coefficient of powers of X. Yun yung gagamitin natin. Pero, dito kasi mabilis lang. I think, uh, write tayo ng another. Gawa tayo ng another layer. Okay, rewrite natin. So, ang original ay number 1. So, parin natin to kasi kailangan natin to mamaya. X base to 3 minus X squared minus 2x is equal to n na a over x dx plus ayun yung tamang pagsusulat. Yan. Pero tinanggal na muna natin para mas kasi parang inaayos pa lang natin siya. Then nahanapin natin c si a, b, c. Ayan. So yun mamaya babalikan natin. So so far, ito muna ang nakuha natin Ayan, kinokopy ako kasi dito. Ayan. Okay, ayan siya. Ngayon, ang gagawin natin is uh, assume tayo ng value for x. If x is equal to, paano ka mag-assume? Based on the factors. So, ito, ito kasi... Diba ito, if x, x minus 2. So, x, x minus 2, at saka x plus 1. So, kapag ang factors niyan, x is equal to 0 for this one. Ito naman, x, lipat mo sa kabila equation, parang ganyan, is equal to 2. Tapos yung isa, x is equal to negative 1. Yan na yung mga pwede natin i-assume. At sa ganitong uh, kasimpleng term, kadali lang natin mahanap, what will be the value of a, B, C. So, if X is equal to 0, so, ito, substitute mo ngayon. If X is equal to 0, ito, 0 minus 1. So, that is negative 1. 
so 0 minus 1 is equal to so a 0 minus 2 0 minus 2 0 plus 1 tapos ito wala na di ba so, sige b 0 0 plus 1 mas madali kasi ma-cancel out yung mga terms natin plus c times 0 tapos 0 minus 3 so cancel out na agad to oh ayan so ang matitira negative 1 is equal to a negative 2 times 1 so that is negative 1 equals negative 2a therefore a is equal to oh di ba ulang divide both sides by negative 2 or that is 1 half so nakukuha na natin agad si a di ba next is if x is equal to 2 okay balik tayo ulit dito yan 2 minus 1 is equal to a. So, ito magsisiro na agad. Tama? So, kahit wag po nang ilagay yan. Kasi zero na to eh. 2 minus 2, 0. Ano pa? Wala na. Okay. So, maybe unahin natin yung isa. Diba? Mas madilip. If x is equal to 1. Kasi kapag x is equal to 1, ito. Okay, unahin natin yung isa para ma... ma kasi magdadalawang unknown tayo. If x is equal to negative 1. So, negative 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. 0. So, matitira si negative 1. Negative 1 minus 3. So, negative 2. So, this is... Bakit may 3 ako dito? 3 ba to or 1? 1 to diba? Kamali ako. So, this is 1. This is 1. Minus 1. Ito. Okay, wait lang. Verify natin. Okay, that is 2. 2 pala siya. x 2 2 tas ito 2 sorry nagkamali ako anyway ayan okay nice ko na so kung x is equal to negative 1 negative 1 minus 1 ito naman kasi negative 1 plus 1 uh, negative 1 plus 1 0 na to 0 na din tong b si c naman is c times negative 1 x or negative 1 minus 2 so, negative 3. Negative 3. So, C, 3C. Ayan. Tapos, C is equal to negative 2 of thirds. So, that is our letter. Value for letter C. Ayan, C, B. So, if, kaya pala, X is equal to 2. Ito na. So, balik tayo dito uli. So, 2 minus 1 is equal to 2 minus 1. So, 2 minus 2, 0 to. Tapos 0. So, B times 2. Kasi wala na yung A at C. Ito, dito natin sa substitute. Kasi if X is equal to 2, 2 minus 2, 0. So, 0 times this cancel. As well as sa C, yung last term natin, 2 minus 2, 0. Times all of this is 0. So, natira na lang si B times 2 times 2 plus 1. So, this is 1 equals um 3, 6. 6B. So, B is equal to 1 over 6. So, ayan na yung mga value natin. 4 or uh, value ng mga ABC natin. So, now we will rewrite. Ayan. Rewrite na natin. Okay. Yung positive ito. Okay. So, ang ating given equation na x minus 1 over x raised to 3 minus x squared um, ano to? Plus ba? Minus 2x. Tx is equivalent to a. What is a? Okay, mayroon na lang. Lagi muna natin. Ayan. And then palitan natin. 
So, ang A natin is 1 half. So, lagay ko na lang dito 1 half dx over x. Ayun na nilagay ko lang. Pwede mong lagay dito, pero i ano na natin. Kasi ililipat mo lang din siya outside ng integration sign. B. Ano yung B natin? 1 over 6. dx over x minus 2. And then C. Ano yung C natin? Negative 2 thirds. So, pwede ko nang lagay dito. Negative 2 thirds. Ayan. So, ayun na yun. Ayun na. So, kapag ito, in mo lahat to, ang ginawa mo, in mo yung uh, 1 half of x, and plus 1 over 6 of x minus 2, plus 2 thirds of x minus 1. Yan, babalik siya dun sa x minus 1 over x raised to 3 minus x squared minus 2x. Pwede yung itry. So, equivalent lang siya dito. Chinap-chap mo lang yan into partial fractions. So, you can always try that. Okay, hindi ko na-discuss dito yan. So, apply na natin. Apply na natin yung ating uh, integration techniques. Apply na tayo ng mga integration techniques natin. So, first term, ang u mo, ito yung sinasabi ko x, ang du mo ay dx. So, we can apply logarithmic as well as this. Ang u mo dito ay x minus 2, ang du mo dito ay dx pa rin. So, third term pa rin, ganun din, x minus 1. x minus 1 ba to? x plus 1. Plus 1. Ito lang nga, nagka-chample-chample na. Okay, this is plus 1. Okay, plus 1. Sorry. Typographical error. And then, du mo. So, this is plus 1. Du mo ay dx. So, pwede na natin apply yung du over u is equal to ln u plus c. So, our answer is 1 half ln of x plus 1 half ton of x minus 2 minus 2 thirds ln of x plus 1. And then, yung last is, syempre, huwag kakalimutan yung plus c. So, this is our answer for problem number 1 under case 1. Okay?